first stage of our journey has started on Fraser Island. It's the biggest sand island in the world and located off the east coast of Queensland. Safely on the beach, we head from the west shoreline across to the east. And the trip, as always, is stunning. This mission starts on the world's biggest sand island, known as Fraser, mate. And I've wanted to come here for a long time, Nige. As a kid, I'd uh, flick through the pages of a fishing mag and you'd see the lines and lines of anglers with their alvies chasing the iconic tailor. So that's the one fish I want to catch. Oh, no, it's, it's the start of the tailor run at the moment, so we're in with a good shot, but I reckon we make it a touch harder and do the classic surf trifecta. The tailor, the whiting, and the dart. Sounds like a plan. All right, mate, let's get the cast. Let's go. Let's go and strike a blade. To catch species like whiting and dart, we have to catch bait, and one of the best is the beach worm. And it's time to see if Nico is good enough to catch his very first one. Well, tell me about these beach worms, Nige. I oh, know. They're, uh, they're a little bit tricky to catch. When you get the hang of it, you'll be away. We need them to catch our whiting and maybe our dart. And all we're going to do is run the stink bait over the wave as she comes in, and as it draws out, you just watch. You'll see these little Vs pop up in the sand, and that's the worm gets the scent of it and just starts standing up looking for that food. As soon as you do that, I'll be on the stink bait. It's your job to go in and you're feeding that bit of pippy. Bit of pippy? Yep, it's, it's tough. So they've got to really try and pull on it. And as the, as they lift out and they start trying to pull back, that's a great time. You come in slowly. And it's, a, it's like a it's like a squeeze to that point. And then, but it's a lift. Okay. You squeeze and you stay there. They get a foothold and you'll never get them out. It's a bit of a feel thing. It's hard to describe, but it's squeeze and lift. There it is. Just like that, brother. There's one. That's how it's done. It's a crack. <laughs> okay. There's your pippies. There's your bucket. Stink bait. I can see it rising up already. The key is get them up on it. And as they arch, you just come in. It's a slow squeeze and lift. You kind of got to squeeze and lift at the same time. Oh, he wants a big time. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh that was close. <laughs> Nearly got him. There's heaps here. Oh no! Look! Oh, there was more. There were more here. There was one there. There, there. Yep, yep, yep. And there. there. Wait, 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 wait. We're starting to pop up through it. There's one. Yep. Ah, uh, you got a way to come. Oh, of course we do. That was close. It's about the depth. You wouldn't think it'd be hard to catch a little worm, would you? Wave coming. Yeah, so if, yeah, if you miss one or two in the spot, even though they can be a pack of them, they seem to so just disappear. No, something's up. It's alright, keep going. You'll get it. You've got plenty of time now. Plenty of time. Wave. Enough. <laughs> and how many worms it's do we need? The nap. We need a few more than one. Wait, wait, wait on him. It's just like combined movement. It's that squeeze and pinch, a bit like tapping your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. I can and tell. Hang of it. I can tell. No, don't jab. It's like striking and fly fishing. It's not. It's got to be a slow squeeze and lift. Squeeze. Yep. Oh, no. A bit of a, a, bit, a, bit, a bit of me bait on. It's got to be your bait. Definitely not as easy as it looks. Fighting to get back. Oh, this will be a big one, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nige. Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, it's a solid worm. There's a fair few baits in that one. That's a good one. It's such a touchy thing to do. I feel your frustration because I did it. Well, I think it's more exciting than catching the fish. Oh, it's a little bit addictive learning how to do Let's it. Let's go get another one. Hold the bucket. Right. So we've got a bucket full of worms now. We want to keep those alive and they'll stay alive for a couple of days with just some damp sand. So I laid in a couple of handfuls of that and then they'll stay alive for a good couple of days. Take your time, you've got time. Take your time. Squeeze, squeeze, slow, slow, slow. Yes, we got him. Oh, got him. Got him. Yeah, now, now. Yep, yep. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! <laughs> you can do it. Let's go fishing. 
How good's that? Oh. You, you, you was frustrating you. I can see the little <laughs> steam starting to come off the ears. I'm not sure I'm excited or relaxed now, Nigel. <laughs> oh, you get a feed now. There's no dinner until you caught a beach worm. We're gonna go get a dart. I want these dart burgers. I know you want the dart burgers. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go catch it. Oh, no, go find this one, mate. You made me chuck me, by the way. That's <laughs> yep. Ooh, I might have broken something. <laughs> that didn't take long. I did. I did bounce this trailer a few times today. That's right. That's a good effort. It is. Something that can't be fixed, but. Yeah, you guys like the pit crew. It's almost like you've done this before. Yeah, I've been careful with blokes like you a few times, Nige. Yeah. Not the first, it won't be the last, I reckon. Done it. Very good. There you go, mate. Back in action. Even works. The rest is up to you. Right, eh? And set up camp. On Fraser Island you need camping permits and there's strictly no fires, but the views when camping behind the dunes are second to none. A new day dawns and we leave the trailers behind as today is about fishing and first up, trying to catch one of these famous Fraser Island Taylor. All good, a new morning, ain't Nico? Yeah mate, isn't it magic? How cool are these little freshwater creeks coming out of the joint, Nico? Yeah, a lot of minerals and stuff coming out of them, Nigel. Oh, it's had a very good wash of the car then, too. Yeah, you get a bit of this beach salt off it. Sure, I'll put a, a bit more back on pretty soon. Just uh, called a mate before, got a bit of blow down on Lee's tailor on the island at the moment. He said uh, the weed's been really thick down the southern parts, but up above the wrecks, it starts to clear up. So, you know, Atlantic's are like, it's all about the water, and yeah, if we can find a gutter that's not too sandy and less weed, I think we're in with a shot. Sounds like a true fish characteristic. Clean water usually prevails. Let's go and find one, hurry up. We push north and notice the water starting to clear, and almost immediately, in the distance, we see a pack of anglers lined up, which in these parts means the tailor are here. Race is on, Nico. I reckon we're here maybe a little bit late. Yeah, tide's starting to drop a little bit. It is. They were catching them 20 minutes ago. We might still have a shot at one here. It took a little bit long. You didn't drive like an old lady. I oh, know, and the coffee this morning, making coffees. We just should have been a little bit quicker. Anyway, they are fish here. It's a good sign. We'll get some gangs going. Pilly in the water and see what we can do. After. I'm here on Fraser Island at the moment chasing Taylor with a good mate of mine. It's the annual spawning run, it's a great time to find concentrations of fish. Fish outside of the protected zones and you'll be in with a chance of catching plenty of them and the first part to it is actually finding the fish. Very often the easiest way, find a, a bunch of anglers on the beach catching fish but if you don't get that signal, go along looking for signs like birds that are obviously hovering off schools of fish or bait and then very much looking for those deeper sections of the beach which we call gutters. Use your eyes good set of polarised sunglasses and where you see nice deeper water closer to the beach preferably with an entry and exit point so you can actually see that gutter enter from the beach into deeper water that's a great place to catch a tailor and very much tidal so we're looking for run-in tides I very much like fishing the three-quarter top of the tide low light periods of the day if you can find those types of water and those conditions it's down a good chance of catching a tailor here in places like Fraser Island Him. Oh. Nice work, Nig. I just started moving it a bit, Nico. As I moved it, he grabbed it. Just in that gutter, just in front of us there. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Fishing mono all the way through. These big surf rods. You just get a real feel for a fish fighting. There we go. Oh, what do you call him, Nig? I got one. Is that the one we're chasing? That's the one we're chasing. You missed one, they were all in there. You know how the trick was? Slowly moving it. As soon as I moved mine, I got the bite. Bang! My, they obviously looking at it. As it moved. I got a bit of a fright, mate, and um, I think I pulled the hooks out of his mouth. Mate, this is iconic, these fish. Like Fraser Island and the Taylor Run. 
in fishing circles, it's just renowned. And look at them, aren't they beautiful? Like Magic. A, seriously, big teeth. And they all mesh together, so. You get one. She, she chomps it, and they're made for speed. They've got a big tail, they've got a bullet line oh. body. That's a very nice eating fish, perfect at that size. And when it comes to tailor, I think fresh is best, particularly at that size. Not too good after they've been in the freezer. And a real key to making the most of a meal is to look after them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bleed this fish and then get it onto ice as quickly as possible. We've got a great fridge and freezer system in the back of the car. So we'll bleed that, get it on the ice as quickly as possible. And I know it's for dinner for Nico and I. What's that? Got all these birds in place. Oh yeah. The fish is still here around. We go, here we go. You on? Yep. No, yep. Oh, do I lose him? He come in with the wave. Got him? I don't know. I lost him again. Ah. Ah, oh, what? Two. Miss. Two. It's been interesting watching Nico in this environment because it's very much out of his comfort zone. He's used to you know, big poppers and barrel and stuff, so it's suddenly a very different reel. The surf environment, things like catching beach worms, it's all very foreign to him. But you just watch that brain get to work. He just wants to know how to do it, and he won't stop until he does. And you just watch him. The further north we get, he gets into his own backyard, and he's really gonna come into his own. So I live up in North Queensland and we don't see too much surf up there, so this is very new to me. The water's cold, the waves are big. It all started down this way, actually. My grandfather used to fish these beaches right here in the 60s and 70s catching tailor, so um, it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time and I'm finally here doing it. I mightn't be as good at it as he was, but uh, I'm having a good time anyhow. Plan, Nige? Mate, I think time's really starting to run out on us now. We haven't got all the species that we want. So it's going to mix and match now. It's like pretty much almost mid to low tide. I'm going to go chase a whitey in some of these little melon holes. Yep. And if I get Nico onto the slug, see if you can wade into maybe that first sandbank. Sounds good. Cast a metal right out into the deeper water. We just may pick up a tailor or something else. But let's cover both bases. Tie your knots quick, I'm out of here. Righto. At this stage of the tide, what you'll tend to find is that a lot of the water's receded, but you get what we call these melon holes. They're just slightly deeper sections close to the beach. You get species like whiting, that's the prime time for them to come in and feed there because it's, it's pretty shallow water. So it's hard for a bigger predator to come in and try and eat them. So they use that time to get in and feed. They've got little downturned mouths. They shuffle around for worms and mollusks and stuff like that. And we've got a few fresh worms we're gonna cast in there and see if we can catch one. Here he is, eat it, eat it, eat it. Ah, oh, missed him. Come on, come on. Still there, come on. When you get a bite and sometimes they let it go, it doesn't hurt to slowly start retrieving it. Almost make the fish think that what they missed is still alive and they'll come after it. A little bit of movement in a bait is always good. Just fell short. It's a little trick when you're casting light baits with alvies. And the fact that you got a sinker there and then this really light bait gets caught up in the wind, when you cast, it tends to fall behind the sinkers and they can actually wrap the line. So a way to get around that is as you cast, it's very important, you watch your sinker in the air and just before it gets to the water, put your hand on the line and stop the cast. You'll find the worm rolls over and lands in the water. It prevents a lot of those twist ups because there's nothing worse than casting and they're thinking your worm's doing the job and all that's happening is you've got a big twisted mess lying there. Oh, there's a fish, gotcha. Oh, good luck. Looks like a species we want. It is a whiting. <laughs> you beauty. And don't you love that when a plan comes together? Nick out there chucking the slug around. I've come to the gutter to catch a whiting, and that is a sand whiting. Little balls of muscle, 
big tail, they've got a little downturned mouth, they come into these shallows and shuffle around for worms and crabs and stuff and a fresh bait of worms going to get them undone as long as you put it in the right place. That is another one ticked off the box. Oh, come on Nigel. Yeah, Nige. got him. I got him. You got him mate. I got him. Oh, it's a lovely little whiting like Nigel. It's not as big as the first one. All right, we're on the board with the whiting now. Oh, that's good. Your turn. How good is it with these reels? You just dump them in the water for your rebate. That's the beauty of the owl, isn't it? Oh, there, there. Look at that fish. There, yeah, there. Yeah, I see him. See him? Yeah, I see him. What is it? I don't know. Blew through. Oh, there's a fish. Get him light. There. Yeah, you got him. Uh, there's a field in there. There's a few little ones in there. But nice. You caught a whiting. I'm on the board of a whiting now. <laughs> Hey, look at that. Is it right? At our feet, nice. And he wants to go and I guess. he wants to live. Oh. Say. How fast did he go? Gone back to tell his mates it's definitely a good time to go to the next gutter. It's time to move on. It's uh, a wrap on another day on Fraser Island. Uh, well, it didn't disappoint. It definitely didn't disappoint, Nige. All right, we've seen the sights, uh, learned a thing or two about the island and caught a few fish at the same time. Yeah, well, we've still got another day to go yet. Yeah, a bit of a one anyway. We're, uh, we're up against it, but that's, uh, that's how it goes. All we've got to do is find the right spot at the right time. And yeah, speaking of time, we don't have much of it, so what do we, let's get back to camp now, mate, and uh, come up with a plan for tomorrow, eh? Well, I think the first plan is you making me this dart burger you've been promising me. <laughs> Be patient. Another day ends on Fraser Island and with it, some challenges remaining. Nico's yet to catch a tailor here and to create these elusive dart burgers, we actually have to catch one of these fish too. Our last day on the island begins with a drive north as we travel past some of the iconic features on the island. Check out this for a feature on the beach, mate. That's a very iconic Fraser Island right there. I've been dying to see them ones. She's, uh, she's seen better days. Imagine being on that thing when uh, you had one of those days. Me, mate, on that water get a bit cleaner here. Yeah, I was just taking a bit of note of that. It's certainly looking better. Well, that's a good sign. I was I was getting a bit concerned we mightn't get away from the weed, but yeah, we uh, we might have a shot if we can get that clean water. Hey, you going, mate? Yeah, pretty good. You catching them? Yeah, about a dozen here this morning. Oh, look at you go. Down the bottom, no, no, we haven't wet a line yet. We're just uh, coming for a look, so we're about to have a fish. Yeah, so we might mate. jump, we might jump in here have a cast. Yeah, we're going to head off and go and get some breakfast, mate. Here o'clock, I think. Oh, good on you. You mind? We'll take your car park then. All yours, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. What Nico and I are trying to do is get our baits into that slightly deeper water that we call a gutter, and you can see it really easily with your just by putting a good set of sunglasses on and we get that slightly greener water we're putting the bait in there and if you get that bait just into the right spot stand a really good chance of getting a hook up yeah hey Nico I think we got this one I definitely feel a bit awkward with this sort of an outfit noise I'm not going to lie to you it's been new for you, the old Albie, mate. I've got the hat on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, mate. There we are, we're on the board. How's that? What a cracker. We got him, mate. The first Fraser Island tailor. I'm on the board. Oh, that's it, mate. And cracker, too. Good size. <laughs> Looks like he'd be tasty. How good do they fight in the surf? Oh, it's good fun. It's, I'm a bit out of my comfort zone, I think. And Nico's normally used to 
very different fishing tackle that Lattice is right in the spirit of Put the old Alvi cap on. Be at one with the Alvi knowledge. And, and the waves in the background, it's a different feel. It's a special way to catch a fish, mate, it but is. Uh, that's one ticked off the box. And I'm waiting for a dart burger, Nige. I've told Nico about these famous Fraser Island dart burgers that I was introduced to a long time ago, but you've got to catch one first before I show you how to make them. Well, we might get a couple more of these and then um, we'll go chase We're one. On the board. Oh, yeah. He's got to go, Nico. Hey, he's a good little fella, let him go. Tell you what, that was the key there again, just moving bait. We obviously picked sinker sizes that's letting the bait move around so it looks natural in the water. Pretty much a key to anything, isn't it? It is. Natural presentation. Oh, a nice a cool fish. One. Nice fish, Nige. Good fish. Here we go. He's jumping for us. Oh, yes. <laughs> well done, mate. Good stuff, good stuff. Have a look at that. Fraser Island Taylor. Look how skinny he is. Yeah. So I reckon that fish, that fish would have just spawned. Like if we were chasing trout in New Zealand, you'd call that a slab. A slab, yeah. Basically they spawned, done their thing, and uh, ready to go. But mate, we've already got a feed in the in the fridge, so what do you reckon? Well, much less, hey? Respect the land. Exactly. And uh, only take what you need, so. We don't need this one. I think you should go back. And uh, hopefully have another chance at someone else catching it. Yeah. Let it go. Oh, that Nico. Get that a little breather. Just give it a bit of chance to recuperate, get some oxygen through the lungs. They do build up a bit of acid in the body when uh, you're winding them in, so we also let that come back under control and then we'll go out there happy and healthy and be back here spawning again in the next season. Off he goes, Nico. Off he goes. See you later. This tide is looking absolutely awesome. It's just getting to the top. We've got deep water right at the beach. Got a pillion action. Bunch of anglers further up catching fish. This looks like a good place to be right now. Another one? Good fish. Yeah, go to him if you got her. Yeah, run at him. There's plenty of stretch in that mono, but Oi! Woo! It's good fun on the lighter here, isn't it? Ah, oh, nice duck. That they go hard. They fight hard. He's not even that big for how, uh, how hard he fought, is he? Oh yeah, it's a good duck. Good duck? Quality duck, mate. Very. Yeah. I was a bit I was a bit worried to pick it up by the lawn then. They'd spike me. You said they're spiky, didn't you? Yeah they are. They're like queen fish. They got good spikes. There we go. Got the full full uh, spots. Look at that. That my, my mark is. Beautiful, isn't he? Uh, just a little model on them. Yeah. Beautiful fish. That's what. Look at that. Plenty of strength. All that thin space. That's where you get that real fight. Ones, aren't they? Yeah, they're gorgeous fish. They really are. Uh, like on the beach, you know, right up and down the coastline, way down past Queensland, you can catch the dart, and they fight so very very well and fresh. Dart very, burgers. Very tasty. Very tasty little fish that this one could be turned into the famous dart burgers. Well, I've been hearing a lot about these dart burgers, Nigel. They better be good, I <laughs> they better, they better, better be good, mate. <laughs> Our fishing time is up, and now it's time to head towards your wrong beach resort and the shop to buy ingredients for our dart burgers and fuel up the vehicles. Nigel, I'm starving. I've got an admission to make. I've never actually made a dart burger. <laughs> oh, no. I've, been, e I've eaten them. You've been talking this up for a long time. I've eaten them. I never actually made them, but I reckon I know how to make them. But I might have all the ingredients, so we kind of got to do what we do with what we got. We'll just go on the run, eh? Yeah, yeah. So we got some vinegar chips. Yep. We got an egg. Good. Beat up. Uh, fillets and egg. Cool. Okay. <laughs> no fork. <laughs> Sorry. In fry, a bit of olive oil, toast buns at the same time. We got lettuce, and you got cupy. Boom. Nigel's winging it. Dart burger. Nothing like the outdoor kitchen. How's that? This is the acid test, mate. You've come a long way for this. We've been hearing about it for a long time. You go Do first. Can we cheese them? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Do you what? Is it right? I've had worse. Outstanding, mate. Mm. It's better to go into it. A bit of sand. I like that sand. 